it's been three weeks and oh my gosh the tea is loud yeah it's been three weeks and she's on my lap sleeping i can't find her brush i'm pretty sure skylar took her brush and used it on her doll so i can't find it so we have to buy her another brush and her hair her little curls are just all over her head but i'm okay with that i'm okay with that so it's been three weeks since i've been locked away in the house <laughs> And y'all already know, if y'all been following me long enough, y'all already know I was on bed rest before I had her. And obviously that didn't work because I still had it at 34 weeks and 4 days. Um, but she was healthy, she was good. If you haven't watched the labor and delivery video, go watch it. It'll probably pop up somewhere on one side. But anyways, so yeah, I'm just telling DJ like I'm going crazy in the house. <laughs> I'm trying to enjoy all the moments. Oh, I wasn't telling you, huh? He wasn't listening. I think I was telling him, but he wasn't listening. So, um, <laughs> yeah, he's doing what he usually does. He's uh, working, doing some last minute stuff, and he shot a wedding the other day, and so he just finished editing that video. Um, but yeah, we're trying to get this money in. Uh, he is right now, and I'm just chilling and trying to figure out how I can get out of this house. I'm not supposed to leave the house for another three weeks, but you know and yeah it's like either that or take a nap and as soon as i lay my head on the pillow she wakes up like what are you doing like what do you think you're doing like i got all this stuff on the bed i had to pump her nose because she has like a a slight stuffy nose and i use this and if you're wondering why like why is dj in here he moved it closer to be i mean he moved it in here to be closer to the internet but it's actually working out for us because now like if i have to go out the room to do something he can just like keep working and watch the babies while ugh, the baby watch the baby while she's either in her bassinet or her swing is down there somewhere. yeah but um yeah don't judge us we got a whole bunch of crap next to the bed over there it gets crazy in the middle of the night like it seems like she sleep mostly during the day and then at night she kind of gets up a little bit more because she eats every two hours and we're still giving her these bottles i think i'm gonna take her off because those are only two ounces and she's supposed to be doing four ounces oh don't do that okay don't do that okay be nice She has on this this cute little outfit, but it's too big for her. It says from zero to three months, but no, no. And y'all know she was five pounds when she was born, but now she's seven pounds, two ounces. So, you know, we're getting up there and everything. I'm excited. She getting a little chunky. She got a double chin going on. Like her mama a little bit, you know. I'm trying to lose mine. It's okay if she have hers. It's real, real cute on her. Me not so much so yeah i'm trying to lose that um i will show y'all my three week postpartum belly yeah hold on let me see yeah, I'll stay right there. can i get y'all to stay there <laughs> yeah, let me see show y'all my three week belly i should be able to I should have stand up and show y'all because this ain't, this ain't, yeah. But, you know, this is me, kinda, you know. Y'all could kinda tell if I pull the dress down a little bit. Don't look at those. Those are the, yeah, that's, that's her milk. <laughs> now, I ordered my pump. It finally came in. I haven't used it yet. I plan on using the glass bottles tomorrow that Shar sent me. Thank you again. Have y'all watched the unboxing? Go watch it. Um, but yeah. So I'll be probably pumping tonight and putting some of the milk in the up. Uh, yeah. I'll be pumping tonight and putting some of the milk in those bottles. And um I gotta buy some storage bags. 
because like i don't know like the nurses kept saying we needed to buy a whole bunch of bottles of you know the similac maybe because they thought this was my first time and my milk wasn't gonna come in but i could donate some of this milk like that's how it is you don't want me to donate your milk Okay, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to donate the milk. I won't donate the milk. Okay, okay. okay. I'm, I'm not going to donate the milk. She don't want me to donate it, y'all. So. Oh, why do you have to do all of that? Why you gotta do all of that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's zero to three months, but it's like huge on her. So I'll be a month tomorrow, and I'm seven pounds. It's supposed to be for an eight pound baby. But she's not that little, you know? Not like she was. You like don't do nothing but tend to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at her. Oh y'all can't see her. It's a little dimple. Here's the bottle I just made for her. Still full. Cause she wasn't probably hungry. She just wanted to be picked up. She wanted to sleep right here. Don't move. Don't talk about giving her milk away. One day I tried to wrap her hair. <laughs> it was cute though. <laughs> I just took the brush and was wrapping it on around. She was cute. But yeah, I don't really have anything to talk about today. That was it, that was the update. Just trying to wait these three weeks till I can get out the house. And then I'm rolling. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, well, we're doing something for Skylar's birthday. Skylar's birthday is in like two weeks, so <coughs> that's what we'll be planning. We may just do cake and ice cream this year. I don't know. I think that, well, yeah, we did that with Jet for his birthday because um, we try to celebrate birthdays like every other year. So we did cake and ice cream for Jet's birthday. I think we took him to Jumpin' World, but we didn't do like a birthday party. So that's what we're gonna do with Skylar this year. Um, I don't know if we'll take her to Jumpin' World or like Chuck E. Cheese. I don't really like Chuck E. Cheese, but uh, but yeah, we're not gonna really invite people and stuff like that. Just uh, probably family if they wanna come. But other than that, it's just gonna be us, just the five of us, or maybe six or seven, because the grandparents might wanna come. But yeah, we all have a cough here. Um, the kids were uh, prescribed medicine. Me and DJ just kind of trying to thug it out. I really can't take nothing. I have cough drops that DJ gave me. I'm about to eat one of those. And then, um, y'all know I'm still on blood pressure medicine, which I thought after having a preeclampsia after you deliver the baby your blood pressure goes back to normal didn't happen for me so i'm still taking blood pressure medicine i have my little <clears throat> blood pressure cuff i'm supposed to take my blood pressure like every maybe three or four hours um the last time i took it i think it was normal let me see yeah 116 over 90 my heart rate I'm not so sure about it. I think that's normal. But, um, oh, she said, oh, I told y'all I need a nap. If it goes over, I think, 144 over 90 or something like that, I have to look at my prescription. Then I have to take my medicine. At first, they had me taking it every eight hours. <coughs> now, excuse me, now since I'm doing like a little bit better, then I can take it if it goes over 140 over 90 or something like that but uh yeah that ain't no joke that ain't nothing to play with 
I'm like, man, I'm like so annoyed that I still have to deal with that after delivering her. But that's the thing that comes with, you know, delivering a baby. And some of these girls be trying to get pregnant and thinking pregnancy and that labor is a joke. It ain't no joke. So, um, oh, speaking of that, shout out to everybody that left me their stories about their labor and delivery on our last labor and delivery video. And then us, the video where we visited um, Eris in the NICU and the kids got to meet her for the first time. Some of y'all left y'all labor and delivery stories. Y'all are some strong women, like, oh my gosh. Like, y'all went through a lot to get y'all babysitter. Y'all make sure y'all write it down if you don't vlog. Write it down so that one day when your kids are older and they're kind of trying to get on your nerves and stuff like that, make sure you tell them that story. I'm glad I got it documented so when Eris get older, if she's like, Mom, you don't never do this and you don't need that, I'm going to show her that labor and delivery. Look what your mama went through to get you here. And I don't think I'm one of the mamas that say, I brought you in this world, I will snatch you out. But, uh... Oh, um, I always think that's funny when parents tell their kids that. Even when I was a kid, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're crazy. But, um, yeah, kids can wreck your nerves sometimes when they get older. Not so much when they little because, you know, they just little. But, um, and they doing what little kids do. But I hear when they get older, they still wreck your nerves. <coughs> Mama, can I have some money? Daddy, can you buy me a car? Can I go shopping? Um, but yeah, those of you that have older kids, tell me the craziest thing that your child has ever asked you or like nagged you about. That'd be funny. <clears throat> I actually can't wait. Well, I can because I don't want them to grow up. Not just yet. Um, sometimes I say that, but I don't really, really want them to grow up. I can't tell them that. Like you don't see Skylar and Jet in here, they in their own little world. Jet be playing his Xbox like he's a teenager and he's not even five yet. Y'all missed him. I tried to turn on the camera when he was in here. He was standing at our window singing Ring Ring Go Away. So I tried to catch it on camera, but he told me he had to go. I was like, wait a minute. As soon as I turned the camera on, he like, I gotta go. I have to go see what Skylar's doing. I'm like, just wait a minute. He like, no, mama, I'll be back. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I posted on, I think, Instagram. Yeah, Instagram and Facebook. That um, I'm glad she's not big. And I can still give her, um, and I can still give her all the kisses and hugs. Because I tried to ask Skylar. I was like, Skylar, come give mommy a kiss. I just said, no, I'm not Skylar. I'm, um, I'm Ladybug from Miraculous Ladybug. I don't know if y'all watched that. It's on Netflix. But, yeah, it's a kid show. Then me and DJ watch. And we sing the theme song. So, we big kids over here. <clears throat> Sorry, I sound like a hot mess. That's how I feel right now. Yeah, so I asked her a kid. She said, no, she's not Skylar. She's Ladybug. And Jet was nowhere around. He was playing his Xbox and doing his thing. So, luckily, I have this one still to give kisses to. And, you know, she can't run from me. She can't tell me she's busy. Um, so, yeah, I could just love on her. I love on all of them. But, like I said, she can't run. So, I appreciate that. I'm going to take in all these moments. And, yeah, y'all. Yeah, I guess I'll be back when I have something to talk to y'all about. And hopefully I don't sound so drained and just under the weather and all of that hopefully i can spend some time with dj tonight because it's been crazy hopefully like when she go to sleep we get the kids down to go to sleep and maybe we can watch a movie we're supposed to watch a movie together i think like three or four days in a row i think the first night i fell asleep on him <clears throat> the next night he went in the room with the kids and laid in their room until they fell asleep <laughs> then he had to come back and work and then I think by the time that other kids went to sleep, she was up again. So, we got to figure something out. We really do. Yeah, 
Yeah. Uh. <laughs> On the west side, feeling like a great, like a great. And I'm looking up to God like what a day. 